What's up everyone? Tonight I am cooking in the Instapot again and I am making chicken breast. And um, I'm going to season them up and we're going to get them in. They're right here on the plate. I got three of them. Um, I'm going to make green bean casserole, corn, and mashed potatoes. So um, yeah, let's get started. Alright guys, I already... I already got this ready. I'm just going to throw it in the oven and um, then I'll pull it out in a little while and I'll put the onions, the little onion pieces on top. Um, I do have all my seasonings here. I'm going to season the chicken. I'm actually going to throw some season in the green beans too. So I'm going to set you guys up at the green beans first, I guess. Guys, I have heartburn so bad. It's, 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 it's been going on for days and it's driving me totally insane. Oops. I talked to the pharmacy today to see what all I could take with my medicine, and it's just driving me crazy. This is Himalayan salt, the pink. I'm gonna, uh, I'll actually do the chicken last. Um, I definitely want some cavenders in here. Green bean casserole, guys. I already have the oven preheated. We have, let me put my glasses on, I can see what we have. Garlic powder, put a little bit of garlic powder in there. This was the seasoning we took out for the um, chicken. This one's onion powder. I'm going to mix it all up too. Um, so yeah, that's probably all I'm going to put in here. Just a little bit, just to give it more flavor. It's going to be so good. I haven't had green bean casserole since. It looks like I could probably put another can in as much um, cream of chicken soup there was. So maybe, let's see, maybe I should put another can in, but maybe I won't. I'll just leave it like this. That's fine. I used three cans, three cans of um, green beans cut, and I used one can, or two cans of um, Campbell's um, cream of chicken soup. And then some seasonings, guys. I do have the onion, um, the onion bites. I have them, um, not the onion bites, what are they? The French fried onions. I have the french fried onions, guys, and I'm going to put them on top, but not until this cooks it's just a little bit. It doesn't take long for green bean casserole. All right, so now I got the Instapot going over here. I don't even have it eaten up yet because I didn't put no water. Oh, shoot. I didn't put no water or nothing in it. So let me, let me get the... Hmm. I'm going to put a little chicken stock in it is what I'm going to... Actually, gonna, actually, I'm going to wash the thing out because from it sitting in the cabinet, it kind of looks yucky. All right, everyone. So we are going to season this up right here with onion powder. And when I put them inside the um, Instapot, I'm going to season the other side. So um, let's see. We have garlic powder. Because I'll put them face down. Smoked paprika. Of course some cavenders. If you haven't tried cavenders, you can pick it up at, at Walmart. And it is really good. It's like five bucks, but it lasts forever. Hopefully you guys can see that. It's a great seasoning. Some Himalayan salt. Alright, so I'm going to set you guys up. I'm going to put these in the um, Instapot. i got to try to set you guys up somewhere. Alright, everyone. Um, I'm going to put the... Um, I'm going to put the chicken broth in the bottom first because you have to have a half a cup to a cup of um, stuff in the bottom of this for it to um, heat up. I'm actually going to turn it on saute so that way it starts starts um, starts heating up and then it won't be as long. I think that's probably enough. take and put the chicken breast in here 
right in the juice. I have three of them. This should take about, I would say, probably 20 minutes. All right, so let's season it up on this side, even though it's down in. I'm still going to throw the seasons in there because it's going to make it taste good. Onion powder. Garlic powder. It's probably going to taste really good. A little bit of salt. Maybe some pepper. Let's see what we got here. A little bit of pepper. Usually when I cook with the kids, the kids aren't here, the little kids. But when I cook with them, I never put all this stuff on, too much stuff on it because they don't like it. So we just have to put it on at the end. Tyler has the monorail steak sauce, the monorail steak seasoning laid out. So I guess he wants that in here too. There we go. It's going to be good, guys. I got it um, heating up saute. I think it's good. Um, I'm going to make corn, can of corn. Everything's going to be pretty easy. So if I put this on, I can start cooking everything else because it's all going to be pretty quick. All right, guys, you think it's ready? All right. Well, I had it on saute. I was trying to, I should have turned the saute on sooner so that way it would, um, you know, heat up faster. I just wanted to heat the thing up. I'm going to end this. I'm going to do pressure cook. We're going to make sure it's sealing back here. And we're going to do pressure cook. What is that? Okay. We're going to do 20 minutes on high. And we're going to start. All right. So I should see you back in 20 minutes. Um, everything should be done. I'm going to throw these in the oven. I'm getting the corn on top of the oven. Um, the mashed potatoes, get them going. And, um, yeah. So I'll see you back in 20 minutes when all this comes out. All right, everyone. We have 17 minutes left on the chicken. I got the corn in here. I'm going to throw some sugar in there. How many of you guys put sugar in your corn? I bought this kind of mac mashed potatoes. I was lazy tonight. This is good mashed potatoes. Um, so we're having this mashed potatoes. Um, I think I already showed you these. The um, green bean casserole is right there in the oven. It's got five minutes and then I'm going to throw these things on top of them. And um, put it in another five minutes. And by the time everything I get all this done, I think it's all going to be done around the same time. This here only takes three minutes. So it's still ice cold. I'm not even going to put that in until the very end anyways I gotta get sugar I want to put about a half a cup of sugar in this corn Tyler loves his corn sweet let me know how many of you guys put sugar in your corn all right everyone this has been done for seven minutes I'm gonna let this the air out so we're gonna turn it a little bit and we are going to push it because I need to, to see if it's done so we're going to push it, and I need to see if, um, yeah, if it's completely done. It's been sitting for seven minutes, and I cooked it for 20 minutes in the Instapot. Three chicken breasts, guys. Oh, my God, it smells delicious. Once you push that, you start smelling all the, the good smells. It smells so good. I'm going to get the thermometer. Maybe. Well, darn. Oh, there it is. All right, so as soon as it's ready, we're going to open it. I got my thermometer. I got the mashed potatoes going in the um, microwave. The green bean casserole's got about two minutes left. And it looks like it's done. All right, everyone. All 
Oh, it looks good. All right, guys. Can you see it? It looks really good. We're just going to poke this in. Let me turn it on. I'm going to poke it in one, just one side. Oops, I poked it too far. I like to lift them up and go down through the top. Um, that doesn't always work. This one looks the biggest, so let's do this one. And go in like this. In the middle. 168, 176 already, so it's definitely done. Yep, it's definitely done, guys. Ooh, looks nice and tender. So I'm going to get this out and um, get everything out. Let me grab the green bean casserole so you guys can see it. I have one minute left. Oh, it looks good. I did it in an aluminum pan so I could just throw it away. I kind of did things easy tonight. Um, you know, with the mashed potatoes. There's the green bean casserole. Look how good it looks. The corn still cooking. The mashed potatoes are up in the microwave. All right, guys, look at the chicken. I mean, can you smell it? Oh, my God, it smells delicious. All right, I will see you at the dinner table. All right, everyone, it looks delicious. Oh my gosh, I don't even know. I kind of peeled a piece of chicken off the top of that chicken. So we're gonna try the chicken first because I already peeled a piece off. It just falls right apart. Mmm. I think the pepper gave it a really, like a, like a hot flavor. Maybe I put too much pepper in there. Mmm. It's delicious. Gotta get a napkin. <laughs> it is really, the chicken's really, really good. God, my eyes are burning. I didn't smoke the house up, so I don't know what it is. All right, guys, mashed potatoes. Mmm. There is a lot of, um, God, my eyes are burning. I don't see any smoke, but they're burning really bad. Mashed potatoes are so good. Green bean casserole. I have not had green bean casserole probably since last Thanksgiving. Um, like in 2020, 2020, if I even made it then. Green bean casserole. Mmm. Oh my Lord. It's so good. It is really, really good. I have to be careful what I eat um, and not eat spicy stuff because I have acid reflux and um, like for the last, I'd say the last five or six days again, this happened before, it's like feels like I'm on fire from like here to here, like right down, going all the way down. It is horrible and there's no relief. Um, I went to the doctor and they put me on omethrazole. I think that's how you say it. Omethrazole, 40 milligrams. That's the most you're supposed to take per day is 40 milligrams. So today, I was at Walmart Market and I um, asked the pharmacy, I'm like, is there something I can take with this? And she's like, well, how many milligrams are you on? I said, 40 milligrams. She's like, oh, you're not supposed to take it. That's the most you're supposed to take. So, um... You know, she said, she said, well, you can take another one tonight when you get home. She says, just take it on an empty stomach. And um, she said, it shouldn't hurt you. It shouldn't hurt you. I wasn't taking a chance. So, I got a Sprite. Um, I haven't had a Sprite in a long time. I thought maybe a Sprite would help my stomach or help it. I don't know. So far, it hasn't hurt it. But um, 
now I'm eating dinner, so we'll see how I feel after dinner. Um, it might, I might be miserable. The chicken's a little spicy, but not a lot. Um, other than that, it's all really good. And the green beans, if you guys got acid reflux or you got burning in your chest, you could eat a little green salad or green beans or broccoli. Anything green helps neutralize the acid in your stomach. So I'm thinking that if I get this green beans down, but there's probably... There might be some acid in the um, in the condensed soup, so I don't know. Hopefully, if I get these all this food down, hopefully I'm not miserable tonight, because um, that would really suck. Um, let me try the corn. Mmm, it's sweet. <laughs> I don't eat a lot of corn. I shouldn't eat any because um, I have something called dark. Mm. Diverticulosis. I don't know if any of you knows what that is, but um, you're not supposed to eat seeds and corn and and certain nuts and stuff like that. But you know, sometimes you just have to eat stuff, and you pay the price later. <laughs> Anyways, it's all really good. Um, oh my goodness, I just cut this piece of chicken off with the fork. You know, like cut it right in half with the fork. So it's real. It's it's done real good. It's not it doesn't feel chewy or you know, it's not chewy. We're gonna need some more chicken. Mmm. It's so good. <laughs> it's definitely good. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below. If you like the Instapot videos, I have lots more to come. So if, you know, if this is not your type of video, you can skip this one. I don't, you know, it's okay. And just watch the ones that you like. But all you faithful people, watch this video and then turn it on again and let it run. Let them views build up for me. I appreciate that. I love each and every one of you. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you on the next one. Peace, guys.